Less than a year after Walgreens announced plans to close 150 stores across the country, a local Walgreens announces its closure coming early next month. Fox 2's Taylor Harris is in North St. Louis talking with concerned customers and a nearby pharmacy that expects an uptick in new patients. The Walgreens store on Grand and Martin Luther King Jr. Boulevard has announced its closing is projected to be April 9th. That's raising concerns for senior citizens that live nearby. To come down here and find out that it's closing doesn't make sense. In July 2023, Walgreens announced it would close 150 stores nationwide by this August. Don't take away what we need. You know, there's low income, you know, and they, they get their prescriptions filled here. I'm one of them. You know, and I have to struggle to try to get up here. Greater Health Pharmacy, meanwhile, wants the community to know they can transfer their prescriptions and even get them delivered. We have a full staff of pharmacists uh, and part-time technicians and drivers, and so we would definitely be able to support the volume that comes in. Dr. Marcus Howard says many Walgreens customers have been calling already to move their prescriptions. Yeah, I think they should. They have a good experience. I've had a good experience. They should have one too. We reached out to Walgreens Corporation for comment. Their response was the following. When faced with the difficult decision to close a location, several factors are taken into account, including our existing footprint of stores, dynamic of the local market, and changes in the buying habits of our patients and customers, among other reasons. This location's closure is due to unsustainable business performance. Several expressed their disappointment off camera, and they are in hopes that the pharmacy will not go through with the closing. For more information on how you could go ahead and transfer your prescriptions over to Greater Health Pharmacy, you can visit our website at fox2now.com. Reporting in North St. Louis, Taylor Harris, Fox 2 News.